Hey everyone, it's Kyle with Prolux, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a assembly and overview of our Prolux CTX. All right, so this is going to be our basic CTX. So this is going to be the one without the Prolux Storm. I'm not going to show you guys how to unbox everything. I'm pretty sure you guys can do that on your own. So with that being said, all right. So now that we got everything unboxed, uh, let's go over what's included. So remember, this is the basic CTX kit. This is the kit that does not include the Prolux Storm. So right off the bat, you have the main electrical hose. This hose is from PlastiFlex. You have the Direct Connect Mirrorton wand. You have two black plastic extension wands. You have the water bowl, the wheel dolly, squeegee tool, which can be used for water pickup. And then you have the actual floor tool. You have the tool hose. You have the Weasel Work EBK 360 power nozzle. This power nozzle has the pivot release. And then it has the height adjustment that can go from 1 to 5 in the settings. And this power head is the best power head on the market right now. You have the actual CTX canister which has a two-speed Italian motor. You have an air purification mode along with actual vacuum mode. Comes with the manual. You have the inflator or blower tool, mini turbo or pet attachment, handheld shampooer, and then your basic vacuum tools, upholstery, duster, and crevice. To assemble the CTX, these are the only parts you're going to need. So the power head, canister, water bowl attached to the wheel dolly, those come attached already. Uh, the main mirror to direct connect one and the main hose. You guys can assemble it in the order of your liking. I'm just going to show you guys how I do it, but like again, it's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm going to take the canister and I'm going to set it on top of the water bowl. Once it's set on top, you're going to have a latch on each side. Go ahead and latch those to the water bowl. Now that the canister is attached to the water bowl, I'm going to then connect the hose to the water bowl port and then plug the two prong cord into the canister. Okay, so if you look on the end that connects to the water bowl port, you're gonna see this gray arrow. And then on the water bowl port, there's gonna be two black arrows. So what you wanna do is line that gray arrow up with that top black arrow and then turn it clockwise so it locks to the water, water bowl port. And then from there, you're gonna take the attached two prong cord. You're gonna lift this little gray flap up. And then inside there is a connection for this cord. So we lift that up, wiggle the cord in there, and then press it in firmly. Give it a slight tug to make sure it's not coming out. And that's how you attach the main hose to the water bowl and the canister. All right, next we're gonna attach the wand to the power head, straightforward. You have this pivot uh, neck connection. And on the end of the wand, you're gonna have this nail connector. So you're just going to slide the wand into the power head's pivot and press down firmly. To make sure it is connected. And then if you want to release the wand on the back of the power head's neck pivot, there's this release button. So all you have to do is press this down and pull the wand out. All right, and then the last step is connecting the hose to the wand. If you look on the pump handle for the hose, you're gonna see this two prong female end. And all you gotta do is plug it into the wand. 
So those two prongs coming from the wand plugs into the hose. Press it down, you'll hear it click. That click lets you know that the button lock popped through the button lock hole and it's fully secured to the wand. All right, so there you have it. That's how you basically assemble your Prolux CTX. There is another cool feature about this. On the water bowl, no, sorry, on the wheel dolly, you're gonna have these um, tabs and these are gonna be for your basic tools. So you can pretty much put any tool on the wheel dolly as long as it's 32 millimeter. So you can put your crevice tool, your duster, your upholstery, you can do either your squeegee attachment or you can do your floor tool. Say you don't use any of these basic tools, you can put your mini turbo on there. So as long as the tool is 32 millimeter, which is a standard tool size for most residential vacuums, it'll fit on the wheel dolly. So now that you have an understanding of how to fully assemble your CTX, I'm gonna go over some of the cool features this vacuum has. I'm gonna give you a quick demo so you guys are ready to rock and roll and clean your house. So like I mentioned earlier, the motor in the CTX is a two-speed Italian motor. So you have two different uh, motor speeds one and two. The first one's gonna be more of your air purification settings, so the motor is not gonna run as strong, and it's gonna be a little more quiet compared to the two speed. So I'll give you guys a listen. Not too bad and then if you guys want to use this as an air purifier all you have to do is disconnect the hose from the front and then on the back you have this blower cap that has our P on it take that off what the vacuum will do is suck in clean air from the front or dirty air from the front it'll be filtered through the water and then it'll come back out the back of the vacuum being a cleaner air And then you got the second speed, which is going to be the actual vacuum speed. It's gonna be much louder and the motor is gonna run uh, much stronger. This vacuum also has a UV light on the underside of the vacuum that shines into the water bowl. So. I'll turn the vacuum on, you'll kind of see it pop up around this area. So not only do you get water filtration, you also get the UV um, light as well. The water bowl that comes with the CTX is going to be a three quart water bowl, so you have a little bit more uh, cleaning capacity. The power head is probably my most favorite feature. When you turn this bad boy on, you're gonna have a, a row of LED lights. So if you like to vacuum in the dark, you can do it with this vacuum. You have the pivot release, the height adjustment, and the vacuum also must be on the two speed setting. If you have it on the one speed, the power is not gonna turn on. Moving on to the wand, this wand is extendable. There's this black button right here. All you have to do is press it down and pull up, and you can extend it to pretty tall height. Um, this top button is going to be the button release for the hose. Press that down, disconnect the hose. And then that's pretty much it. So now I'll kind of go over uh, what the tools you use for, and then I'll give you a quick demo on how to use the vacuum. All right, so let's cover the tools now. Uh, we'll start with this. This thing, this is going to be your blower slash inflator, so um, the CTX is also a blower. To hook that up, you take the exhaust port cap off, hook up your tool hose to it, and you can use it as a blower. Um, this is also great as a coil cleaning tool, so if you have a fridge that has the coils on the bottom, this tool will clean it up pretty well. 
It's also just a long, skinny crevice tool, great for reaching those hard to reach places. Um, basic upholstery tool, um, couches, chairs, car interior, you can use it on your drapes. The bristled part slides off. Basic upholstery tool. Uh, you got the mini turbo, you can use this as an upholstery tool as well. You can use it on your pets if your pet will be still enough for you to use it on them. This is also a great car detailing tool and it works great on stairs. Um, this is air driven so it uses the vacuum suction to uh, spin this belt which spins the turbine which then spins the brush roll. Uh, two basic black extension wands. Connect those together. You can just get more cleaning reach out of your tools. Crevice tool used for cleaning crevices. Handheld sprayer, you can use this to pretty much clean anything. You can use it as a spot cleaner. The, va uh, the CTX is a water vacuum, so you can suck up water with it. So you can use this to shampoo your bed, your couches, whatever you see fit. Duster brush, you know what that is. A squeegee tool, you can use this for water pickup. Um, it's got on the front you have a bristle part and on the back you have an actual squeegee attachment. You can also use this as a floor tool. And then you have the basic floor tool which has the horsehair um, bristles. Use this on hard floor surfaces. And then you have the basic tool hose. If you're going to use your CTX for water pickup, make sure you hook up the tool hose and not the main electrical hose. Since this is a tool hose, it has no electrical um, cords or anything on it, so you won't be damaging anything if you use this tool hose for water pickup. So that's pretty much all the tools, so I'm going to show you guys how to quickly use the unit, and then we'll wrap up this video. So to get started, you need to fill the water bowl up with water. Since this is a water vacuum, um, the water bowl must have water in it. If you run the vacuum without water in it, there's a chance you can damage the motor. So make sure you fill the water bowl up with water. There is a plastic uh, cone piece in the middle. Just fill the water up to that. Um, if you fill any higher, there's a chance it could uh, seep through the motor and cause damage. Okay, so that's going to be it for uh, the quick overview and demonstration of the Prolux CTX. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding your purchase of the CTX or need any additional assistance, please reach out to us at service at ProluxCleaners.com and we'll get you taken care of. I'm Kyle Prolux. Thanks for watching.